So welcome everyone to this recording uh, for your virtual open day. Uh, my name is Dr. Deirdre Hardiman and together with my colleague, Dr. Helen Casey, we're going to talk to you about the BA in Child, Youth and Family Policy and Practice. So it's important to remember that this uh, programme that we're going to talk to you about is one of three that's offered uh, in relation to the CAO code GY110. So the GY110 is a thematic area of children and youth studies, but within it are three separate programmes. And the programme that we're going to be talking about specifically today is a BA in Child, Youth and Family Policy and Practice. So when you are completing your CAO application form, it's important to be able to identify which of the three programmes that you're going to select uh, in terms of your application. So as I said, this is the programme, the BA in Child, Youth and Family Policy and Practice. And it's a very unique programme in that it's designed for students who know that their career lies in working with children, young people and families in terms of policy and practice with the intention of improving their quality of life or enabling uh, each of these groups to achieve their potential. So it provides a foundational preparation for a career in working with children, young people and families. And it will enable students to develop the theoretical skills and the practical know-how to work with children, young people and families across a range of settings. What is particularly significant and a core strength of this programme is that it involves a full year of work placement experience that takes place in year three of your programme. And in this context, students have the opportunity to apply their knowledge and skills uh, in a practice-based setting with children, young people and families, and to learn from that experience and to also assist, I suppose, students to, to determine or to specify maybe what aspect of their future career that they particularly want uh, to pursue on the basis of that workplace experience. So another unique, I suppose, feature of this program is that it very much centers on small group teaching that is research led uh, by academics, both within the School of Political Science and Sociology, uh, by academics within the UNESCO Child and Family Research Center, which is based in, in ILIS, the Institute for Life Course and Society, but it also brings in a number of professionals that are working within the sector. So we really emphasize the importance of having practitioner engagement and practitioner knowledge uh, in the content of this uh, particular program. So some key facts just to be aware of, the CAO code is GY110, uh, but you need to identify APP that, it, that it essentially corresponds to the code for the BA in Child, Youth and Family Policy and Practice as the specific programme of the three that are available within this code that you intend to apply for or to select. It's at a level eight in terms of the, the framework of qualifications. It's a four year full time program. The normal entry points are between 350 and 360. And the leave and certificate entry requirements are, are essentially a minimum grade H5 in two subjects and passes in four other subjects at 06 or H7 leaving search level. And these must include Irish, English and other language or three other subjects recognised for entry purposes. Additional requirements to be aware of are that students must satisfy as part of their application, the Garda policing vetting requirements. And we usually have an average intake of about 40 students. So as we mentioned earlier, uh, it, both my colleague, Dr. Helen Casey and I are the joint program directors for this BA in Child Youth and Family Policy and Practice. And we look forward to working with you in the year ahead uh, and hope that you will enjoy uh, your engagement within the program. So the, the program normally whilst on campus is largely based within uh, the UNESCO Child and Family Research Centre within ILIS, the Institute for Life Course and Society. Um, but it is housed within the School of Political Science and Sociology uh, and that is a, a hugely um, was important discipline uh, in the context of this particular programme. So now I'm going to hand you over to my colleague, Dr. Helen Casey, who's going to discuss some of the modules that we cover as part of this programme. Uh, so I'm handing over to you, Helen. Thanks, Deirdre. 
So it's lovely to engage with you all. And we look forward to seeing you all in person in due course, hopefully when you sign up for our BA program. So just to give you a little flavor of some of the modules that we have on offer on the, on the BA program. And from year to year, some of the module topics change and alter in line with the field and the sector requirements. And also to give you a flavor of new modules that come on stream so that the, the topics are current and in line with, with the child, youth and family sectoral requirements. So in year one, in the first year of study, and in each year throughout the program, you have to undertake 60 ECTS, 60 credits. So in year one, you will take, undertake a number of modules and each of the modules may be a five credit or a 10 credit module. So in year one, we've outlined a number of, of modules here as an example. So there's an introduction to child, youth and family studies, which again gives you a flavor of the, the topics that you may undertake as part of this program. And we will focus specifically on, you know, an understanding of what we mean by child development, what youth work means, and also what we mean by family studies. Then we have another module, which is listed here called an introduction to politics and sociology, which again gives you an insight to the topic of sociology, its understanding, what we mean by politics and from an Irish and a European perspective. And all of these modules are introductory stage because you will be in year one of your studies. We also have a core module on youth development because obviously youth work and youth studies are core part of your module insight and learning as part of this BA program. In year one as well, we have a topic and module area of internet and web development. And you will see that throughout your studies that you will have insights into this area of work in terms of improving your IT and technical skills for the sector in due course. In another introductory topic we have in your one of your studies is economic policy and understanding our global and understanding our wider sectoral uh, economic situations as well as our sociological context is very important for the area of child and youth development. Another core area of your learning and experience as part of this BA program is community development and community work. And we'll be engaging with this topic as well throughout your studies, but it is a core module in year one. Next, we have listed a number of topics as well for year two of your study, which will also be um, looked at over the coming years. So in year two, we have looked at social issues and, and, and public responses. So in, in this context, you'll be reviewing some of the core social and economic issues that are current in the area of child and youth studies at the time. And we'll be looking at both the public policy and at a micro and a macro level in terms of responding to some of those issues. We also, again, will look at youth work and youth principles in a more in-depth practice-based context so that it, at this stage of your learning and experience, you'll be getting prepared for your placement, which will be undertaken in year three. So it's really about upskilling your capacities to be able to face working in a placement in, in, in the sector. Again, we look at um, the area of family and society. So you'll be getting a broad understanding of what we mean by family, how family structure changes over time, and how, you, how family informs the wider societal networks. Again, as we mentioned, in terms of this particular programme, because of its unique nature of having a full placement year in year three, we're very mindful on the programme to make sure we prepare you, both personally and professionally, to work in the sector. So we have core modules dedicated to enabling you to be confident and capable to go out on your placement process. And some of those skills include preparations in terms of doing interview skills, enabling you to prepare for, for um, preparing your CV and also hosting and working with professional services. So this is a strong element of the program in year two of studies. There is also a number of modules link, linking to the whole area of sociology of health. 
So a broad understanding of our health and the dynamics and the determinants of our health, but in particular from a sociological perspective, since we are based in the School of Political Science and Sociology, that will be the focus of the health based module. And then, as I said, in year three of your study, it is a placement year. So you have your full 60 credits, but they are used in placement. So in semester one and in semester two, you're on placement with organizations of choice. Those placements are organized throughout the latter part of second year of your study, based on your interview and engagement with the process and based on the placement officer engaging with you and facilitating your own interest areas. So students have gone on to a number of different areas of, of on placements over the last number of years. And it's a very effective and um, useful part of your learning and your professional development as part of the BA programme. Then the fourth year of study is when you return to campus and return to, to working with your colleagues again in the programme. And you undertake a research project. And this particular module is, is based across both semesters. So in semester one and semester two, you do elements and module components that will enable your research capacities to be to grow and to develop over that timeline. You will develop group projects and individual projects that will build your research techniques. And in addition, in year four of your studies, you develop your understanding of legal issues related to child development and child protection and family law matters. We also so look at the area of early year study as one potential topic area, but there is a number of other topic areas as well that you may look at in terms of social work or family support. And we'll talk about those again later on when we're talking about potential postgraduate study options. Another core topic that we look at obviously is equality and diversity. And that's really important to the, you know, the, this particular BA program in terms of child and youth development. So Deirdre, maybe if you can move on the slides, I can't do that on this side. Okay, Thank you. no problem. Okay, so as we've mentioned in terms of year three is a really important year for each of you on the programme because that is your placement year. It's a very unique structure to this BA programme. So that work experience is really important. So you will go on a full placement year across both semesters. But in addition to that, as students and as campus, participants across NUI Galway, there's some very strong student engagement initiatives. And one of those is the Alive programme. So each student can engage in lots of community and social engagement initiatives to build up your volunteering capacities and skills in advance of going on placement. And we highly recommend that process. So from year one of your studies, you can proceed and go on and engage in some of that voluntary ex experiences through the Alive programme. And they're not only good for you personally, but it also develops those professional skills. And in addition to that, it also builds up your knowledge and understanding of issues that are arising in the sector. So they will add to your own toolkit of skills for your CV, but they'll also be enabling an understanding of the wider societal issues that are linked to this area of study. So we can't, I suppose, underestimate the importance of thinking about volunteering once you become a student of NUI Galway. And there's a huge track record of students volunteering when they're on campus. So that's a nice uh, aspect to think about if you want to come and study here in NUI Galway. And the other, I suppose, aspect we have mentioned already is about the placement. It's a full placement year, so you have nine months of placement with an organisation. And our experience with our students to date is that students who have come through placement are really enabled to engage with uh, posts and positions, either part-time or full-time on completion of their degree. So that gives you a unique selling point as a student and a graduate of the BA programme to be able to proceed into the sector having completed a full academic year of placement. So it's an important element to consider uh, this particular programme for, and it's, it's an asset to your own skills and to your professional out outcomes into the future. So we might just move on to the next one there, Deirdre. Um, I suppose here we just noted on your actual programme page or the website, a number of supports and uh, resources that you can look at 
And there is a video here as well that you can look at in terms of what some of the professionals who are working in the sector are saying about the job opportunities and what the programme uh, has done in terms of enabling their capacities. And it also talks through as well in terms of how it enables you to work in youth work or the different skills areas. So have a look at some of the videos and have a look at our links with our web page and we'll speak more about that again. I suppose in this particular slide, we're just showing you the spectrum of different organisations that we work with, that we're supported by in the field. And these are some of the organisations that have offered placements to our students. So there's a key bond between ourselves as you know, academic directors of the programme and with our fellow lecturers, with professionals in the field who are supporting you as students, both on placement and on graduation into the sector. So some of these organisations may offer you some areas of interest that you might like to consider in terms of social work or family support or youth development and community organisations. So there's a huge spectrum that will support all of your interests and needs. And we look forward to discussing your options with you in, in relation to your placement in due course. So in terms of any student considering to progress to an undergraduate programme of study and anybody who's maybe listening to this recording today, we always suggest to everybody think about and your future pathways. Think about career options, opportunities for yourself and what you would like to ultimately you know, vision yourself to be down the track. And in this lifetime, many students will have a number of career paths, a number of career opportunities. And really what we're saying to you today is that this BA programme gives you plenty of opportunities to progress across the social sciences. And some of the areas we're suggesting that our graduates to date have engaged with are these areas on the slide here with us. So the whole area of family support, working in residential care and support services, the whole area of community development, working in uh, companies and organisations, supporting communities, either geographic based communities or organisations that need particular community development supports. A number of students have progressed into working in public administration in local authority organizations. So there's a number of different perspectives that you can, you know, think about in terms of postgraduate areas of studies, but also career paths. But the, I suppose, core area that our students have progressed through are in the youth work field. So a number of our students are working with Freuga and with Youth Work Ireland. And in, and in, in fact, I suppose a number of our students progress with both of these organisations in terms of their placement to get a flavour for this area of youth work and then progress into those fields. So we're happy to discuss as we progress through the programme with each and every student, some of the potential career paths and refer you on to our career development uh, centre as well, which have huge supports to enable each student to think about their career pathways. So there's lots of opportunities and choice for you in the future. And then the other element, I suppose, we want to just, you know, note to all of you today as well, is there are further areas of study at postgraduate level that you might like to consider. And a flavour of some of them that are linked to our own school and that are linked to our uh, fellow colleagues in the area are the MA in social work. A number of our students have progressed to that area um, with Professor Caroline McGregor in the School of Political Science and Sociology. We also have the area of family support studies. And we have a number of students that are on those MA programmes at the moment and have progressed through them and are graduates. So there's lots of opportunities with these programmes. Um, we also want to mention in particular, there's a number of new MA programmes on offer. So just to flag those with you as potential opportunities for you as you progress through your BA and on to future, future life paths. So there's a new MA that's been designed that will be commenced in 2021 in September. And it's an MA in Child, Youth and Community, which a number of our students will be able to progress to as a new opportunity. And that's it's a really exciting opportunity at this time. And there's also a new MSc in Ageing and Public Policy, which is a new opportunity as well for the forthcoming academic year. And we're really delighted to be able to, to showcase this as an opportunity for some of our students who are graduates as well. Okay, so I suppose at this point we want to wrap up our key input for you today 
And to, again, to remind you that on behalf of myself, Dr. Helen Casey and my colleague, Dr. Deirdre Hardiman, we really want to thank you for this opportunity and hope you've enjoyed listening to us. And if you have any additional questions, please email us directly. Our details are here on the slide. Mine is helen.casey at nuigoway.ie and my colleague is deirdre.hardiman at nuigoway.ie. And we're more than happy to hear from you um, and to take any questions you might have. And the other thing just to note to each and every one of you is that we have a web page that you can go on and look up any additional information, look at those recordings we mentioned, and to, re to review the um, requirements in terms of the programme, in terms of also the fees and the costs of the programme. So please go to our website and look at that resource as well. Okay, Deirdre, is there anything else you'd like to add or? No, I think we've covered all at this point, but hopefully we've given you a kind of a snapshot of some of the information that you need and that there is a more in-depth provision of detail on, on the web page as Helen has outlined. So we're looking forward to hearing from you. We're only delighted to hear any questions you may have and um, best of luck in the decisions. Um, hopefully we'll see you on campus uh, in September uh, 2021. 2021. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Take looking care. Looking forward to it. Mind yourselves. <laughs>